The selling pressure is real, but... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi. It's pretty windy today, so I hope the sound is okay. This is the first day of this three weeks that I will do a new format video, shorter than normally, between five and 10 minutes. Get used to it for the next three weeks because we will be moving this weekend and then we will be in another place again. So we, so I adjust the videos into short format videos. So I have a short holiday as well, guys. Now, today, we are experiencing a huge dip in Bitcoin. I'm saying huge, it's another 6% and we fell down from 74 now to around 53, so it's 20K drop, which is almost a 30% dip, which is normally for a bull market. We have experienced 30% dips in the 2017 bull market over six times. So it's not something really strange. Why is this dip now happening? There's a couple of factors why this dip is happening. First of all, we are seeing the selling pressure of the spot ETFs. This week's outflows were a lot of negative outflows. Second of all, the German government keeps selling Bitcoins. We don't know to who they are selling, but they are selling, but they're sending their Bitcoins to certain exchanges like uh, Coinbase, for example, to sell some Bitcoins. Another 600 Bitcoins were sent again, and they were already sending 4,000 Bitcoins and 6,000 Bitcoins. So the German government is selling. The third reason is Mt. Gox. Mt. Gox was an exchange that collapsed in 2014 and all the people that were holding their Bitcoins on that exchange are now receiving their Bitcoins back step by step. First Bitcoin should be given back this month. So we can see already huge transfers of the Mt. Gox cold storage wallet into the BitBase wallet, for example, that one of the exchanges is going to distribute all the Bitcoins. So a lot of fear is on the market that these people that will now receive these Bitcoins from a long time ago, that they will dump it to take profit. So that's all combined, a lot of selling pressure. Selling pressure from the spot ETFs, selling pressure from the governments, selling pressure now from Mt. Gox. Also, the United States government is moving some Bitcoins to sell. So all the selling pressure has dropped Bitcoin now to the low 50k levels. I have been saying in my videos already where the support levels are. 54k, 52k, these are the two massive support levels. 52k is the ultimate battle between bears and bulls. The bulls will probably keep this 52k level as support. The bears want to drop it lower to 48k. I am a bull. I believe that we are strong enough with the bulls to keep support of the 52K, but we will dive into the charts to show you a little bit more. The first chart for today, guys, is this daily chart. And on this daily chart, my face is on the wrong place. I will put it over there now. Uh, on this daily chart, guys, you can see that we are trying to break that 200 daily moving average that I've been talking about a lot the last couple of weeks. It's this red line over there. This is a 200 daily moving average. Normally during a bull market, we should not be breaking it. This candle of the day will close in 16 hours and 40 minutes. So we have 16 hours to get the price back above 58K, Do not be closing down below that 200 day moving average. It is not nice to close a daily chart below that. The support levels, however, will be if we break that. I already told you a couple of times on the same chart. Here it's 52,900 level. We just wicked to it already. The next support will be the 47K level and that support after that 43K levels. The RSI is at the bottom. I am adding to this dip. I don't care if I buy at 55K, at 50K, at 45K. I really don't care because I believe that we are still in the midst of a bull market we will go higher and higher and higher. I will show you on different charts. Now, this is, for example, a weekly chart. This is a copy of a weekly chart. I call it the copy of the weekly chart because on this chart, I have copied the 2017 and the 2021 bull market. Already a long time ago, I pasted and I made that chart over there when we were in this circle. I hope you still remember the chart. I told you we are here at that moment. And that moment I told you, if we would copy 2017, it will look like the green line. If you would copy 2021, I told you it would look like the blue line. Now we even overperformed or outperformed, however you want it. And the first we went like 2017, but then you can see here, we went above that blue and that green line. 
we are outperforming those two bull markets. And that is also why we created a pre, uh, an earlier all-time high, et cetera, before the halving. It is not bad if you retrace a little bit to this yellow line, for example, over there, that we can see up and coming, but that's around 47,000 at the moment. It's not bad. That's still part of the bull market. We are still then outperforming those other bull markets. And you can see that in that summer period, every time, that is that period over here, I will draw because else you can't follow me. In that summer period, every time, it is boring. Till the end of the summer, when both of these markets, bam, start to explode again. But at the moment, this yellow line is the ultimate support, but 52K is also a very strong area of support. Now, I also showed you on this chart already a very long time ago, guys, the low risk areas, these are the areas where you buy, of course, where you buy the most of your Bitcoins. I've been sharing this chart here when that low risk area was low. I told you already there, there will be a high risk area in 2025, not 2024. And then we will be going back again here at the bottom somewhere in 2026, 27. That is how we play the long term game. And a part of that long term game is not be freaking out about the short term volatility, but believing in the long term play means you will be adding to your Bitcoin portfolio each and every day. Now, let's check some more cool charts. The first one is over here, guys. On this chart, you can see a fractal that played out this month, uh, this year already. We saw the fractal over here. 2024, we created a bottom area over there. You can see that there was a lot of lines touching this yellow line. Now, we are creating this bottom area again over here, which could drop even, uh, what we saw now, to that 54K, 53K level before we take off again to 100k. This is not okay, it's not gonna happen this summer, definitely not in my opinion, but you know, this is a bottom structure that is being built and I believe we could go easily back to the mid 60k again during the summer. Now, then we go to a better fractal. On this chart we can see here, 2023. 2023, we were beautifully here going sideways all the way from March, all the way till September. And from September, when we had the capitulation event, when a huge second bottom was in, you know, we had the first local bottom and another bottom, that is when we went up again and then we went even higher than we went ever before. That's when we went from 25K back to those 50K levels. We can see exactly the same now. This is March, sideways, 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 July. Maybe this would be the capitulation event. Maybe we could go sideways a little bit more. Yeah, all the way to September and then bam, move up again all the way to the 100k levels. Two beautiful fractals I found on the charts. So now the last chart that I have for today is this one. This is the 21 EMA. The yellow line is the 21 EMA. That line is a very important line during bull markets. You can even look at that line, for example, on uh, this 2017 bull market. It is a line of support. We can see here that the candles are closing on the 21 EMA. Again, we are holding above the 21 EMA. The moment we break that 21 EMA, that's a very bearish moment. Here again, we broke it. That's a very bearish moment. That's like the start of that bear market. The moment we start to close candles above it, that was a bullish moment. That was telling us, hey, the bear market is over. So every time, when we hit that line, it will feel scary. It will feel like, ah, we are at the end of the bull market. It could become a bear market. There's only one outlier till now that was over here. We went down below it and we came above it and we are still in the bull market. At the moment, we are fighting a 21 EMA. This is a weekly chart, so it's about a weekly close. It's going to happen Sunday. The current candle is fighting it. The previous candle, we were also wicking into it, but we stayed above it. Now let's see what this candle will do. Let's see if Sunday this candle will stay above the 21 weekly EMA. If we hold that level, I think that bottom around 52K will be in. If you can't hold that level, guys, then yes, we could see even a dip to below 50K to 47K. So this will be an exciting moment um, on Sunday. Now, long term, you just zoom out. These are the dips. You should stop crying and you should start buying. And I told you there's also around 60K, and, a lot of, and I see a lot of comments, ah, you told us to buy the dip. I keep telling you to buy the dip. 
each and every dip. If we dip to 60K, you buy. If we dip to 50K, buy. If you dip to 40K even, whatever, you buy. Keep adding Bitcoin. It's not just a short-term profit that you're searching for. It's a long-term protection of your capital against inflation and everything else. We are still in the midst of the bull market. This is not the end. The trend is still our friend. We are in an uptrend in a bull market already since the beginning of the year, 16K. We are still up 35% and we're going to go be up a lot more in the future again after the summer. The summer is going to be boring. We're going to drop to 50K, maybe back to 60K, maybe even to 70K, maybe even back to 50K. Summer sideways movements will be boring. But after the summer, September all the way into December, we will see higher highs than we have seen till now. So yes, an all time high. Now, let's jump into the last part of the video. There is only one quote that I can do today, guys, that fits the market. And it's not an inspirational quote, it's an educational quote. When the blood is on the streets, you should start to buy. And it's a very old quote among all investors, but when the blood is on the streets, when you can see that everyone is bleeding out, that the miners are bleeding out, that the spot ETFs are bleeding out, that the governments are bleeding out, that everyone is feeling the pain of that dip of Bitcoin, and everyone is hailing that dip of Bitcoin that you can see on Twitter and all the other social platforms. Oh, fuck it, Bitcoin is over. I never will buy Bitcoin again. This is nothing, it's bad, it's bad. When the miners are seeing capitulation, when they can't even break even anymore with the mining gas, that is when the blood is on the streets. That is now. And when that blood is on the streets, that is the moment you should accumulate a shitload of Bitcoins. This is that last moment before that huge bull market again takes off in August, September-ish. You should be adding to Bitcoin as much as possible. And I know a few of you sold your house, you had again a perfect timing. Not the perfect, perfect timing to buy at 15K, but the perfect timing to buy around 50K now. And if you don't believe Bitcoin will ever go to 100K, you should not be buying Bitcoin. And if you do believe Bitcoin will go to 100K, you should be adding Bitcoin to your portfolio every and each day because that means doubling your capital within 12 months, 18 months. And if you look at the bigger term, zoom out even more, Bitcoin will go higher and higher and higher in every four year cycle, a higher high and a higher low. So for me, yes, I can feel the pain that you're feeling. I can feel the doubt that you're feeling. I can feel the stress that you're feeling. Why? Because I've been there. I've been there in 2013. I've been there in 2017. I've been there in 2021. And I will be there also in 2025. I understand what you're feeling. But the thing that I learned in the last couple of bull cycles, four year cycles, yes, last couple of four year cycles, I have learned one, to huddle, two, to dollar cost average each and every dip. That is our strongest strategy as a family. That is why our capital keeps growing, because we keep adding to these dips. And for all those people that now think, eh, how can you buy your all in? Yes, we earn some income, of course, as well, with all the links and all the other stuff that we do. So all that income that comes in in USDT will be exchanged into Bitcoin during these dips. Because I am a true believer, I believe that Bitcoin will go above 100K this bull market. So for me, I will stop crying. I will start buying. I'm not freaking out. I'm zooming out. I buy this dip. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the new short format? Uh, thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. I see you tomorrow again from a new location.